M0FXB both from UV5R Mini. Let's add R2D2 as a boot screen image. The size is a massive thanks to the station that messaged me. Not 128, 128 like it says, but it's actually 128 by 138 and it's a bitmap. And the way I'm, I'm going to show you how I created this image, but let's put it in there because I've been trying to do this all day and I couldn't. So um, I'm going to quickly uh, write it to the radio. So import terminal. You'll see it going up there because I actually haven't even tested this yet. Uh, but it's the first time it allowed the picture to go through. Uh, import success. Oh, yes. Did you see that? Let's turn it off and on. You know, small things amuse small brains, but that is R2D2. Okay. Love it, love it. Right, so I'm going to put the, the image file so you can use it. I'm going to put it on my Facebook page for the UV5R Mini, which will be in the description. So let's just quickly show you how to um, how I resize any image. And that is you go to an image. So I go to my files here where I've got some images stored. I'll just choose one at random, like all my videos. So we go here to R2D to this one here. Right click it and on Windows go to Open With and then Paint. Nearly all Windows have got Paint. Yeah. And there's an image image there. And then all you do is go File. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, file. Down to Image Properties. And you're going to change it. And it says here 160 at the moment. But you're going to go 128 by the crucial one. Back to 138. And then click OK. And then you're going to go File, Save As, and you're going to go Bitmap. OK? And then save it somewhere where you can find it. Now, I, I made the image for the other R2D2, so just save it somewhere. And that's it. And then you've seen how you load it. You open up your software, connect your cable, of course. Uh, right click to get your device manager so you know that your UV5R cable um, is connected and that you know what the COM port is, which is here. COM3. And um, let's close this down completely. There we go. Uh, where is it? Tools, import picture. Uh, COM3, open picture. And that's the one I just made. And look, it has opened it, but I don't really want to use that one. I prefer the other one. So we've got open picture. And there it is there, like that. And then you just go import and you'll see the radio is going into its program mode. And you're done. Thanks so much. Oh my God. How could both of them get that wrong? Uh, the boot image, image is 128 by 138, but you can see it completely working. And yeah, and if, you know, if you want to know how to use the software, come on, it's pretty basic. Receive frequency 145.600. Zero zero, uh, and then you, you see it there, and you can change the transmit frequency. There isn't a minus shift on the software. You always add it the actual frequency. Then you want transmit CTCSS. So on that repeater, it would be ninety four point eight CTCSS. Power and then name, caps DB three WR. And that's it. Read and write to the radio. You got loads of settings to tinker with as well. Where is it? Uh, optional features here. Just all the settings that are in the radio. You've got them all here. Just have a little play. Uh, VFO. And that's just when you go into VFO mode. So when the radio says channel mode, you can decide what that, when you turn it on, what that is. Channel. No, not channel. I'm sorry. I made a mistake there. Frequency mode frequency mode you can add the frequencies but when you go into channel mode then you're going to scroll through those channels uh like so and uh, you can save everything as well settings that's about it really i noticed that mine says frequency range um 220 you know so hmm um I i'll play with that tomorrow because i haven't seen it transmit on 220 yet you never know. Watch this space. This is about boot up, boot up image. Thanks to that station who gave me the sizes. Bye for now.